हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू चिटियाश एडवेंचर्स तो अ लॉट ऑफ यू हैड आस्ट अस कि व्हाट ऑल मेडिसिंस डू वी कैरी व्हेन वी ट्रैवल सो दिस इज आवर मेडिसिन बॉक्स दिस इज यूजुअली व्हेन वी गो ऑन आवर वन डे ट्रिप्स वी कैरी दिस और इवन व्हेन वी ट्रैवल फॉर अ लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन वी हैवन ट्रैवल फॉर अ लॉन्गेस्ट ड्यूरेशन लाइक नॉट फॉर अ मंथ और सो विद किड्स विद चिका एंड डैश so that medicine box we'll obviously have to check with the vet and carry but this is good enough these are the basic medicines that we always carry along with um i am not going to tell you the names of the medicines because again it varies from uh, dog to dog it varies from uh, the vet to vet so it's best to ask uh, your vet which is the right medicine to uh, give to your particular dog but i am going to tell you um, the generalized medicines that you can carry a lot of you had also put in questions that uh, uh, chika swims a lot i mean you know almost for 3 4 hours she is in the lakes and water bodies so whether she feels cold whether ash feels cold and how do we judge whether the water is right for them to go uh, do they feel cold at night and stuff like that so um no chika and ash have never got um, felt cold or got cold till now uh, what we usually do is we let them swim or let them be in the open as much as they want to uh, generally by the body language we understand where whether they are tired or whether they want to rest at times where we can carry dryers and where we can dry them with the dryer we usually carry it along with but if not uh, we just towel dry them there is a, a particular towel called as absorbent towel so that usually helps soak all the water from their body and then we just towel dry them and let uh, let them rest indoors they know their body is well so uh, let them be the best judges of it until and unless, i mean you know you don't have to force them to be out in the open or you don't have to force them to swim now i'm going to show you what all we carry in the medical kit so first and foremost cotton i also want to tell you that uh, wherever you go out wherever you are traveling with your pet always carry the vaccination records in your phone so that is what we usually do on the updated vaccination records and also the vets number always keep it handy keep it um, written down in your medical box because just in case if you might uh, not have network connectivity you might have low uh, phone battery or anything uh, you have the number handy um, yeah so coming back to the medical kit so first and foremost cotton uh, this is you, you i mean this is a multi purpose thing i don't have to tell its uses or anything then we carry sopramycin so if there are any cuts or wounds or anything this is what we normally apply after drying them so just uh, wipe it dry with a cotton or a uh, dry towel and then uh, before sleeping or anything you can apply this then we carry a uh, gauze we carry a medicine now what i do is i usually make pouches like this so it's easier because um, there are a lot of medicines which uh, we don't know the names of uh, i mean we don't know what they are used for so uh, in, you can uh, either write it down on a piece of paper and keep the paper in the medical box or you can make pouches like this so usually i have made pouches and i put a small um, paper where i have written like uh, if the pet is vomiting then this medicine to be given if the pet has acidity so this medicine to be given so don't go by the uh, medicine name i am again telling you i am not telling you the medicine name but one you can carry uh, for vomiting so that is a very important medicine uh, if your pet has uh, eaten something if your pet has swallowed something or um, due to exertion or maybe due to eating food outside the uh, if he or she vomits then what medicine to be given so that you can ask your vet um one for acidity again to be carried this is a very important medicine then um, 
This I have for uh, loose motions, diarrhea. Again, this is a very important medicine when you are going out. Uh, carry this. Then there's uh, a medicine for car sickness. Uh, it's a, another video that I can do. How to get uh, dogs comfortable uh, during car rides and stuff like that. But at times, if your dog has car sickness, then what medicine to be given? That ha that needs to be carried. A band-aid. And uh, a thermometer, of course. This is also very important if you need to check uh, your dog's body temperature because uh, that will decide a lot of things. Whether your dog is feeling sick or ill or whatever. Then betadine. This is a multi-purpose uh, liquid which we carry. Uh, this is again on cuts and wounds you can apply. Again, before, uh, if you are not too sure what medicine uh, to be given, what needs to be applied and what not, before coming only, just check with your vet or if you can call your vet, you do that before doing all of this or any of this. So, consulting your vet is the most important thing that you need to do if your pet is ill or sick. The basic things like, you know, a normal vomit like or having loose motion, that all things you can manage with this basic medical kit. Then we carry hydrogen peroxide. If your dog induces anything toxic or poisonous, uh, so hydrogen peroxide is used to make them vomit. Now, this, the, this need not be given time and again. Again, you have to consult your vet before actually making your dog vomit. Our earlier vet had also, um, uh, like, you know, if hydrogen peroxide is not handy and if your dog has taken in something poisonous, you can uh, use coffee powder. So, a normal coffee powder like any uh, sachet that you have nearby, just put a little on your dog's tongue and it will vomit out whatever poisonous or toxic thing that it has induced. But again, please consult the vet. I'm telling this again and again. Then a hot water bag. So if uh, your dog is limping or you know has a sprain or uh, just needs a, a nice you know warm. I mean it's raining and it's cold and it just needs a nice warm pillow. So you can fill uh, warm water in this and maybe you can take a bigger one. This I've just carried as a medical uh, in the medical kit. You can take a bigger um, this hot water bag. And you can keep give it to them, just do lie down. Then, uh, then a pair of scissors. Again, this is also very uh, important. And uh, this is a uh, kiss skin cream. So, uh, if your dog has any boils or any red marks or anything, or um, I mean, you know, this is a skin cream basically. So, this also you can carry. Another antibiotic uh, ointment. So, for eyes, for uh, antibiotic uh, treatment for eyes or for skin, that also you can check with your vet and you can uh, carry it along with a band aid again. So, yeah, that's it. These are the basic uh, things that we carry. Uh, apart from this, if you all feel that anything that we have missed and um, uh, anything that we need to carry along with, so please feel free to write in the comments below. Uh, hope you all enjoy our videos. Uh, time and again, we try to put different, different things and uh, explore everything pet friendly. That's our main motto. So, um, Thank you for watching Chikat Adventures. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the bell notification button, and uh, please follow us on Instagram. Our ID is Chikat Adventures. Thank you and bye-bye. And look at these two.